The Van Part building rests on the traditional village sites of Multnomah, Tumwater, Kathlamet, and Clackamas bands of the Chinook, Tualatin Kalapuya, Malala, and many other tribes who made their homes along the Columbia River. Multnomah is a band of Chinooks who lived in this area. We thank the descendants of these tribes for being the original stewards and protectors of these lands since time immemorial. We acknowledge that Portland, Oregon has one of the largest urban Native American populations in the U.S., with over 380 federally recognized tribes represented in the urban Portland metropolitan area. We also acknowledge the systemic policies of genocide, relocation, and assimilation that still impact many Indigenous and Native American families today. We are honored by the collective work of many Native nations, leaders, and families who are demonstrating resilience, resistance, revitalization, healing, and creativity. We are honored to be guests upon these lands. Thank you. Like Sandy, she's going to the shipyard in Richmond, California. Seems like a nice place to many people. Might be harder to find work there in Oregon. But Tim, he says it's temporary. He stay in the Bay Area. He might travel to Washington. His family is there and they own some land. Mabel, she's studying law school, but it's only to help her family get back on their feet. Her four brothers and sisters have all separated to find work and make money. We're going to Van Port to work in the shipyards to make and save money to buy our houses, support our families, do our American duty. They promise things will only get better. We'll have a chance at the American. When they started Vanport, uh, it was the second largest city in the state of Oregon. Vanport City was a war housing project that was built in the northern section of Portland. Uh, it was started in 1941 and was finished in uh, 1942. And it housed 40,000 people. And the purpose of, of, of Vanport was to house the shipyard workers that came out here to work in the shipyards for the Henry J. Kaiser Company. After the war ended, GIs were returning home from the war. All of those GIs that came back had a GI Bill, which allowed them two years of college. However, there was no two-year colleges here in Portland. So Dr. Stephen Epler and other people, they came up with the idea of creating the Vanport Extension Center, opened in 1946, with the ability to provide those returning GIs two years of college. And uh, Vanport Extension Center last up through 1948, the year of the great Vanport flood. It was the forerunner of present day Portland State University. The legacy of, uh, of Vanport uh, Extension Center here at this downtown campus of Portland State University can be recognized in two different places. Over in the park blocks in front of Lincoln Hall, there's a large rock over there that's referred to as the Vanport Rock. And this building here, I think, which will have a lasting legacy, uh, this building named the Vanport Building, I think is the strongest legacy of the history of Portland State and Vanport possible. Welcome to the newest building on Portland State's campus, the Vanport Building. This building is the amazing new home for PSU's College of Education, the OHSU PSU School of Public Health, Portland Community College's Dental Hygiene and Dental Assisting Programs, and the City of Portland's Bureau of Planning and Sustainability. The name Vanport carries a very special meaning. 
As we celebrate the official opening of the Vanport Building with our valued partners, PSU is marking its 75th anniversary. Our journey began as a small startup extension center in the city of Vanport, welcoming GIs home from World War II. Today, Portland State is Oregon's most diverse and innovative urban university here in the heart of downtown Portland. This building is all about partnership, mutual benefit, and further increasing the vitality of our campus. It's also something unique in Portland, a commercial condominium with four different public owners. It could not have happened without significant contributions, many hours of planning, and creative collaboration among four of the largest public institutions in the city. Thanks to the project team, SRG Architects, and Anderson Construction for their dedication to the project. While Prosper Portland is not one of the partners in the building, they provided the funding to purchase the land which became part of PSU's match for the state bonds that made this project possible. So a big shout out to Prosper and their role in the project. This project would not have happened without state investment. Without the support of the Oregon Legislature and Governor Kate Brown, we would not be celebrating this building today. With the approval of $51 million in state bonds in 2017, this project was able to begin. The City of Portland's agreement to be a significant partner in the project provided a foundation for the eventual four-party agreement. The City selected the Bureau of Planning and Sustainability to locate in the building. PSU is a longtime partner with PCC and we're always on the lookout for new ways to collaborate together. Through dialogue, we recognize an important opportunity for Portland Community College to bring dental programs to downtown Portland. This amazing building also provides a home for the OHSU PSU School of Public Health, which was originally contemplated at the South Waterfront. The timing of the development of this building and the close relationship between the two institutions provided the opportunity to create a physical home for the vitally important School of Public Health. The four owners agreed to work together to construct this $111 million project on the PSU campus. The unique partnership required unanimous agreement on all major construction decisions, a potentially challenging way to run a construction project. The collaborative spirit that brought the partners together persevered, and the project was delivered on time and on budget, despite the global pandemic and wildfires of 2020. The Vanport Building is a testament to how public partnerships can lead to creative and sustainable development in the downtown core. I offer my profound thanks to our philanthropic partners whose investments in this vibrant space made all of this possible. I especially like to acknowledge Christine and David Vernier, along with several others, whose support helped bring this facility to life. Heartfelt thank you. As some of you may know, Portland State recently crossed the finish line on our first ever comprehensive fundraising campaign, a $300 million effort to support students, faculty, and programs, and to create transformational spaces like this one. As we officially open the doors of this remarkable facility, it's inspiring to see all that we can achieve when the city, educational and philanthropic partners come together for the greater good. Welcome to Vanport. This project is so meaningful to all of us involved in telling the stories together. The Vanport Mosaic is a platform for memory activism. We amplify, preserve, honor and uh, present the many silent sea stories of our region, but also really to envision something else, to write a new chapter where we all belong. We often say that uh, remembering is an act of resistance. So that's, that's our, the ground of our work. We've been collecting oral histories with the Vampo community for the past eight years through story circles, through reunions, through dialogues, through art, uh, artistic tributes. We haven't had the chance to say thank to our community. This installation is a long overdue opportunity to say thank you, to receive the gift of these stories, to make meaning of the stories together with the Vampro community, those who are still here, but also with the future generations. We started two years ago. We work with some of the Vampor survivors, extrapolating and, and choosing uh, the gems of the story. What we see today in the few quotes that are incorporated in the, in the tribute are truly just a very small selection of the many beautiful and important voices that were harvested, as we like to say, throughout all this uh, year of oral history. And then we had the joy to collaborate with Alex Chu, the muralist who created this incredible painting. 
it's been a, a pleasure to be able to learn more and be a part of the lives of the survivors of, of Vanport. Doing community murals can be pretty difficult in terms of taking all the information that needs to be processed and heard and really narrowing it down into a story that represents the community, especially if it's just like one image. Definitely I feel like the themes and the way I focused on it was instead of thinking it and focusing on, on it as a tragedy, I also want to celebrate the lives of the people living in the city during the time. So I included teachers, ship workers, and people who played in the school band. I know that there's a lot of things important to the survivors of Vanport. When I was listening to their stories, they emphasized it being a, a city of creativity and music, and the kids of all different backgrounds were able to play together going fishing or just playing, interacting with nature and hiking together. So I want to capture some of that day-to-day joy um, rather than just focusing on the tragedy of the flood. I'm very inspired by the work of Isaka Shamsuddin. He's a muralist who is actually also a survivor of Amport and the way that he handles his work and the way that he paints has been an influence to how I want to handle murals around here. I just hope that what we set out to do was to create a mural that honored the legacy, the history of, of Vanport, but also for anyone if that history was a part of their life. I want them and the future generation to be able to look at it and feel like we made this, this mural to honor them and to celebrate that period of, of time. Joyce Nelson, I'm so excited that she is featured in this mural on the Portland State campus in the new Vanport building. Joyce is a dear, dear mentor, uh, elder of mine who recently passed away this last year and was a real loss to the community. Joyce was a foundational individual for the Native community in Portland and she has always been that. Joyce came and moved to Portland, to the Portland area with her family, lived there in Vanport. She's been recognized as being a survivor of Vanport, which was very significant to do that uh, in these last few years because the Native story of families that live there in Vanport that are still here and have several generations of their family here uh, aren't, aren't typically told. There was this huge Native community in Vanport that's really where our community began. People that came that were brand new coming in from reservation communities were always told, go to see Joyce and Buzzy and they'll tell you how to get settled. You know, one thing about Joyce is she expected integrity. She taught unconditional love. So even if someone messed up or made a mistake or got in trouble with the police, she never held that against them. They, she saw that as their historic trauma and encouraged them to pick back up and, and try it again. It was all very, very communal in nature. Joyce, in her legacy and what she left behind, was a strong, connected, very engaged Native community. And that couldn't have been done without her. She really was um, an angel to the community. She gave herself endlessly to the community to make sure that we had programs and that we had community events. Also that um, we all knew each other. She would bring people together because she knew that that was gonna be the success for our community. As we celebrate the opening of the Banport building, I believe it's important that we reflect on its namesake the city of Vanport and the homes and lives of the predominantly black residents who were lost in the Vanport flood are important parts of Oregon history that we must acknowledge and from which we must continue to learn. The Vanport building provides us an opportunity to honor those community members. The OHSU PSU School of Public Health will find a home within the walls of this building where tomorrow's public health workforce will be working to improve health wellness and well-being for all. Since its inception, the OHSU PSU School of Public Health has committed to identifying and implementing the changes needed to confront health inequity inequities through education, research, and community service. This commitment is reflected in the school's mission, vision, and values, 
and in the work of our faculty uh, members, our students, and our staff members as well. In May of 2020, Dean David Bangsberg declared that the School of Public Health stands with the American Public Health Association in declaring racism a public health crisis. And furthermore, he committed to building and sustaining new policies, procedures, practices, structures, and systems that promote and support a diverse, equitable, and inclusive environment where everyone can thrive and excel. Now, the impact of racism on health is well established, but there is much to learn about how the public health sector, with our allies, can be and can do better to make the changes and have the impact that is needed to meet the needs of those we serve. Towards that end, OHSU and PSU are both actively working to improve our organizations. We are collaborating with citizens from communities that have historically been marginalized or underrepresented, and both institutions are improving our ability and capacity. Um, that includes efforts to address systemic racism while making room for the new appreciation, new skills, and knowledge that are needed to be successful. Both institutions are also supporting BIPOC faculty members, learners, and students. And we're developing the strategic partnerships that are needed to improve our ability to serve our communities, understanding that we must, must ask them uh, and the members what they need. The Vanport Building is a meaningful addition to the Portland landscape, and it's a symbol of community service, hope, and change. So I look forward to seeing its lasting impacts on our state and beyond. In collaboration with other public agencies, Portland Community College has developed a facility that celebrates education and camaraderie. We're proud of our journey together, one that has been several years in the making and founded on shared planning, design, and construction to bring our vision of the Van Port Building to reality. PCC is known for preparing new and returning professionals for the workforce with skills needed to serve and strengthen our greater community. Its dental sciences program moved from a modest space at the college's Sylvania campus, where the program started in the 1970s, to the third floor of the Vanport building in early 2021. Here, PCC's dental hygiene and dental assisting students receive expert education and training in preparation for successful careers in high demand fields. Following strict COVID health and safety protocols, the dental sciences program has been up and running at Vanport since March. The design of the new Vanport space includes the latest equipment and technology to teach our students. The dental sciences floor includes fully equipped classrooms, a materials lab, a dental assisting clinic, a dental simulation lab, a radiology lab, and a dental clinic. Our dental clinic is open to the public and offers low-cost oral health care services to patients, and our new location offers greater accessibility for patients thanks to multiple transit options the Portland Streetcar, Max Light Rail, and bus lines to downtown Portland. PCC would also like to extend our heartfelt appreciation to the Willamette Dental Group and the Skirties family for investing in this vision. Their generous $1 million gift will ensure that students who wish to pursue careers in the dental field have opportunities for generations to come. The ripple effect of this kind of support can't be overestimated as we work to address access to family wage jobs and the demand for trained professionals. Partnerships like this make our shared vision a reality. The collaborative nature of this project with our partners has produced a beautiful building that exemplifies perseverance, teamwork, and trust. Today's celebration is a pride point for PCC and filled with hope for future collaborations with our partners. Our understanding of history shapes our view of the present, and to understand where we're going, we must understand where we came from. 2021 is the 79th anniversary of the construction of Vanport, built in 1942. The community had schools, stores, a hospital, a movie theater, and even a two-year college. Vanport was demographically diverse, with African American, Hispanic, Native American, Asian and white populations who all came from elsewhere to work in the shipyards. A post-war housing shortage affected all incoming laborers, and due to Portland's discriminatory housing policies of the time, such as redlining, 
Many of the African American workers had trouble finding a place to live because they were restricted to a small area of Portland that was already at full capacity. After the war, the city was also home to many Japanese Americans who returned from prison camps to find Vanport the only place they could procure housing in the Portland area. These groups of people found themselves all strangers coming together and they forged new connections that endured even after Vanport was gone. When the Columbia River flooded on May 30th, 1948, almost 28,000 Portlanders were left homeless and without belongings. A third of those displaced were black. Vanport is an essential and often forgotten chapter in Portland's history, a story that provides a template for how we can all live together and create a society that honors history, cultural contributions, and paves a way for our humanity and our city to thrive. Looking to the future, a new Vanport rises. Constructed on a foundation of community and innovation, bringing Portland State University, the City of Portland, Portland Community College, and Oregon Health and Sciences University together under one roof. The Bureau of Planning and Sustainability's new home will be a hub of collaboration from which they'll continue to shape the future of Portland and advance climate justice for a more equitable, healthy, and prosperous and resilient city. We breathe, and breathing is an asynchronous music. Every body needs the air. We breathe, and breathing is an asynchronous music. Yet, every body needs the air. We are riven tender, and tender riven. Asked to know here our roots, we dove into the revolving polyphonic tender timber ether. My response is to sing to the inevictable terror, shake the terrible, terrific air, harness the ineluctable. I fill the rift with river. I feel the rift with river. Mình thở và sự thở là một à đồng nhạc tuy nhiên ai cũng cần không khí. Mình đinh tán âu yếm và âu yếm tán đinh Hỏi để biết, nghe nguồn gốc của mình. Mình nhảy vào, quay vòng, đa âm, âu yếm, đà, hóa, ê, the. Phản ứng của tôi là hả? Cho đến nỗi, kinh hoàng không thể tránh khỏi. Rung chuyển sự khủng khiếp tuyệt vời không khí khai thác sự không tránh khỏi tôi đắp rạn nứt với con sông tôi cảm giác rạn nứt với con sông we breathe and breathing is mình thở và sự thở an asynchronous music là à, một đồng nhạc Every body needs the air. Yet the air needs a music breathing. And we synchronous breathe and every body needs. Is every music a body breathing needs? Is every body a synchronous 
and yet Và tuy we nhiên mình every air mỗi không khí music mình nhạc needs cần là một ở đồng cơ thể body. thở we the air mình không khí music nhạc body cơ thể needs breathe cần thở breathing sự thở is là yet tuy nhiên the một and gác and và the air yet không khí tuy nhiên is every body là mỗi người một a breathing music nhạc thở và mình thở một đồng bộ synchronous mỗi nhạc cần một every music needs cơ thể a body đồng bộ. synchronous mỗi không khí cần một every air needs nhạc thở a breathing music mình không khí we the air nhạc music cơ thể body cần thở needs, breathe sự breathing thở là is tuy nhiên yet một the and và and breathing is sự thở là sự thở is, là sự thở breathing is là and và sự thở is, là sự thở is, là sự thở is, là và sự thở is, là sự thở is, là sự thở là và 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 phản ứng của tôi is to say. là hát So this is Vanport, not what I vision. I thought it'd be green and beautiful, not all muddy gray and green. But hey, I'm not complaining, as long as Mr. Kaiser is paying. So this is Vanport, a new beginning, a place where anything can happen. Work in the shipyards, play my music. This is Vanport, eat, sleep, and live here. Watch the children run and grow. Black school teacher. Police officer. We even have a library where we are free to go. Yes, this is Vanport. If you're smart, you're safe. 